I greet you in the name of our ancestors. I greet you in the name of Chukwu Kabiyama. He that makes mid heaven and earth and makes all things perfect in its own time. The creator of all the forces of nature. I greet you in the name of your chi, in the name of your water world, your earth world, your sky world, the wind and the mountains and everywhere. I greet you with peace. Here I'm standing is um, called an engine. An engine is in Wanameke or Bioma in the local government area. And then the UD is in Enugu State, also in Nigeria, and here is Africa. Um, what I'm here to tell you today is very significant. One that I'm standing here, what you can see here is what I call religious intolerance. Now look at it, look at it, look at it. Now, what you just saw is a terrorist act by Christians who decided to come into this shrine that being tempted by a young man to destroy it, to cut it down, destroy ancient artifacts. These pots, as you see them, I hope you can see them. I hope you can see those pots, those pots there. Yes. Now, those pots we just saw, they are older than so many, so many men. In fact, a history from our own age. We haven't seen anybody bringing those pots. That means those pots have been there before our fathers. Now, those Christians came here to destroy these things. Bond them. I mean, saying that they, have not, they are now for Jesus, and therefore everything about their ancestor is evil and should be destroyed. But why? Why should that be? When we go to uh, Israel, we still see so many of their ancient stuff. We go to Greek, we still see so many of their ancient stuff. Why should Africa be so brainwashed to destroy their own? I am of the opinion that the revolution, the revamping, the restoration of African spirituality is the hope for the African greatness once again. How people used to say that Africa ruled the world in the past. And I asked them, how? They ruled the world with what they called black power, which the whites couldn't understand. They called it black magic. We don't have magic in Africa. Everything you see in our land is real. When we kill people, we kill them for real. When we cause people pain, we cause it for real. When we heal people, we heal them for real. That's nothing like magic in Africa. We are naturalists. We worship God through our natural understanding and ways as laid down by our ancestors. And Christians also do not understand the saying in the Bible that says, do not tamper with the ancient landmark. That ancient landmark is not just about the marks. In our place, we have what we call old paths, roads created by the ancient men. In our tradition, we, you, don't, you don't build houses, block them. Now, so as that is, also the works of our ancestors. Okay, let's say that a community now say that they don't, they don't want to handle things like this. They could have even converted it to a museum. When you uh, get this place ready and set it, uh, um, you know, put it in order and some other things, and children grows up, you tell them this is what our fathers worshipped, and this is how they went about it, and all that. But instead of seeing beyond that, through the brainwashing, they started destroying those things. Now today, we are here to restore this place. Um, in another video you are going to watch, you are going to watch other aspects of the restoration and also the merriment. But my message to Christians is this. I have been a Christian. I was once a, 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 a charismatic member to the height of co uh, coordinator in Enugu State. Then I was known with uh, Brandon Dubisi. I was once an assistant pastor and a worship leader 
of so many churches. I was once an evangelist. I've also gone to do these things before. Destruction of shrines and all that. But until now, I never knew I was doing something that was so wrong. Not just to humanity, but also to the greatness of Africa at large. And I give my fellow brothers who are still Christians this message. Please, desist from destroying these things that our fathers kept for us. Desist from doing those things because so many that we spend today are not just natural. Most of us always think uh, that the Bible says that uh, if you live like uh, 70 years, uh, nothing again. <laughs> you have lived long. But our fathers lived as long as 120 and 130. The oldest man that blessed me in, in this community is a traditionalist. And he's still walking around and he's above 100 years. So I advise them, do not destroy what you don't understand, what you don't know how it's been done. If you want to move a shrine or a temple, an analogy as we call it, to another place, there is a procedure. There is a spiritual procedure. You don't just do that. Because when you do that, you know, you're not just incurring the wrath of the people that built and set those, those things, but you are incurring the wrath of nature because you cannot violate nature and go scot-free. You cannot. It, it's not possible. Now, I am telling you that it's high time Africa begins to think. You, you condemn people and uh, point libation to their ancestors, but you pray to Mary, you pray to Joseph, you pray to Isaac, you pray to all the saints, whatever you call them. And those are ancestors of other people. You never know them. You have never met them before. You, 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 don't even, you don't even see them. You are asked to believe. But our people are asking you to see, to understand. You are asked to believe and take it in faith, even whether it's lie or not. Begin to think. All we have is not evil. We have evil people around us. We have some evil traditions. We have to accept them. But that is what we are doing now to change things to the normal way. Because those people that are doing evil in tradition are the same people doing evil in the church. I want to tell you this. You say we pray to idol that does not eat in any way. That does not drink. And I want to ask you this. Who is the person eating those things you go to bring to the church? Have you seen Jesus Christ that is hanging on the cross come down to come and eat those things? No. Those things we are still eating by men, just like men eat this one, in, the, in, in place and in the name of the gods. Please, if you are a Christian, I want you to awake. But if you are also an awakened person, do not hide. I want to tell Christians that we have at least 90% of our members still in the church. People that go to the, uh, to the Didia in the secret, they come places like this in the secret. So when you see people like us that have been open to do these things, like somebody saw me yesterday, I started shouting because the person knew me when I was a charismatic and how I preached and evangelized. But people like us are not people that hide. When we know the truth, we follow it. We are free spirit. When you are called, you follow your calling. So we have our members around in, within you still. I want you to know this. 90% of people that are succeeding in, in, in that church testifying always go to Dibia or some other shrines in the secret and then come back to testify in the church. Still go there to, to do thanksgiving and still come to the church to do thanksgiving because of the eyes of the people. Stop condemning the traditional people. We are not evil. Our ancestors were not evil. Whoever that condemns them and tells you that they are certain is a lie. We had more virgins before now. Now we don't have any, we can't even boast of any virgin. Our, in our land here, you don't steal before. Today everybody is violating the, the laws of nature. Those days you don't sleep with a fellow man. But today everybody can jump to another man and then shout his freedom. Before, before you don't sleep with a fellow woman. Everybody can jump and, 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 and say it's all uh, uh, right. They have right to live. I call on you, Africa. Whether you're watching this video from America, from Caribbean, from Soweto, from uh, uh, Mali, from Ghana, wherever you are, rise for Africa to take their place where they need to also develop their own spirituality. No continent, no country develops beyond their spirituality. And if you take another person's spirituality, you are going to become the person's slave for eternity. Why should we be praying more and suffering more? Do you, still, do you think about that? Why do we pray more? Place like Nigeria today, we have the high, we are, we are the highest exporters of pastors and priests, but we have more problems than any other country in the world. Why? Why should that?